Hey there, I'd like to teach you guys a casserole of mine that's so tasty you might die. So stick around, we're about to throw down on my fajita pie. Go ahead and gather these ingredients. Three and three quarter pounds of extra lean ground turkey. Two poblano peppers, diced. One yellow bell pepper, diced. One red bell pepper, diced. Pickled jalapenos, to taste. 32 ounces tomato puree. Two small onions, diced. One bulb garlic, peeled. Two tablespoons tamari. Four pounds white sweet potatoes. All right guys, we're gonna start off by peeling our sweet potatoes. These are white sweets. You can get them in the grocery store next to the yams. There's a lot of conversation, what's a yam, what's a sweet potato? There's different varieties of each. Uh, you can get orange sweet potatoes, but these ones are white and they'll kind of give us that traditional potato look. So I've uh, lined my cutting board with some plastic wrap. I'm just gonna peel on top of that. All right guys, there we go, we're looking good. Uh, peeled all the way around, no brown parts. I'll just show you as an example why I do this. Now I can just take, wrap this up, throw it in the garbage. All right, just keeps the workspace clean. From there, I'm gonna cut into discs, maybe one, one and a half inches thick all the way across. Since this is a consistent size, that's gonna work. If it's bigger and misshaped, you're gonna kinda wanna play with these big ones so that Everything is consistent. Does that make sense? I know you follow. All right, so these are gonna go in my pot. I'm gonna get these knocked out. We're gonna fill the pot with cold water, two inches above the surface of the potatoes, and then we're gonna boil them until they're soft. I'm gonna chop up this garlic, and we're gonna toast this with our spices. Half the spice mix is gonna go on the turkey, and half will go in the pot with this, or to kind of open it up and bring it to life. There we go, nothing crazy, kind of a rough chop. I'm happy with that. From there we'll take our oil. I've got my preheated cast iron pot here. I'm gonna go in with my garlic and then my chichaco taco to open up the spoon side. I'm going for about a tablespoon and a half. So the other half of that goes over our turkey. And then I'm gonna start stirring this in, toasting the spice and the garlic together. And you want just enough oil in there to kind of make a little paste, keep this uh, moist looking. And we're achieving that right here. I'm gonna oil the top of the turkey. And then season side down as best we can. And then we're gonna season the top. Okay guys, now I'm gonna start working this breaking it up, folding that garlic, the spices into the turkey. And at this point, I'm gonna add the onions. And there we'll go lid on, and we'll let it cook. I've got four pickled jalapenos here. What I usually do is eat one. Mmm, love these things, so good. And then I'm gonna chop up the others. Cut the stem off there, I'm just here. Nice little rough chop. You can use, uh, you know, fresh serranos if you'd like, but I, I just kind of like the flavor that these lend. It's not super spicy, but just hot enough. Mm. So we'll get that ready. I'm gonna check back in on the turkey. Mmm, smells good. And at this point, I'm gonna add my tamari. Tamari's optional, gives a little bit more that umami flavor, depth of flavor, we might call it. Now we'll go in with our peppers. And then our jalapeno. Great color. Look at that. And you could use just straight green bell peppers. I know the reds and yellows cost more, but then you wouldn't have this amazing color going on. All right, we're gonna lid back on until the turkey is done. All right guys, let's take a look. Here, I'm pretty confident that the turkey's done. So I'm gonna ditch my lid. Give this a stir. I always like to give it a little taste. Beautiful, I'm gonna give it a little more chichaco taco. Just like that. 
And we'll go in with our tomato. Once the tomato's in, you can cut the heat. Boom. Now we're just gonna stir and do our final seasoning. All right, so our recipe makes 60 blocks. So we've got 30 blocks here and then six five blockers coming together. The next step is to strain and mash the sweet potatoes. We're gonna knock that out and then we'll check back in. All right, guys, potatoes are done. We've strained them. Now we're gonna mash them for that. You can use an immersion blender. You can put them in a food processor, but I'm just gonna use a good old fashioned whisk. Boom, there we go, I'm happy with that. Kind of a rustic, hearty, casserole, Midwest type puree. Okay, same process, dividing this up. What I'm gonna do is flatten this out, kind of make a half mark. Half it's gonna go on the casserole and the other half on the individual portions. All right, so we got it portioned out, spread out. I like how it's got the kind of the rustic look to the top. It's not super smooth, it's kind of chunky, but this is what we're going for. So we've got six five blockers and one 30 blocker. This I would bake in the oven right now for maybe 15 minutes and then broil it so the top gets toasted up, caramelized. These I'm gonna throw in the freezer and then those will last for about six months frozen. So freeze them, then lit them. Get out there, give this one a try. I gotta get back to that rower. So cook it up, keep it in the zone, and we'll see you next week.